Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to episode 14 of Pwned. Yes, read it. So before I actually get into that part of the video, I just want to show you guys something. The Elite Stockade is here in Singapore and uh, it's released already in Toys R Us. I picked mine up at Toys R Us Tampanese. So for all you guys in Singapore, you want to get your Stockade, go to Tampanese, uh, Toys R Us, or you can go to Forum, the shopping mall, Toys R Us. That's where the main um, Toys R Us is. I've been to Paragon, but I'm not able to find this blaster at Paragon. Now check it out. We Singaporeans have the 75 feet version, which, uh, as you guys already know, if you've been following other blogs like SG Nerf's blog, or if you've been following the Urban Tigers blog, uh, it's not the Silver Trigger 15 meters version. So there's some other YouTube I won't be saying who, some other YouTuber saying that, um, oh, I received uh, a stocking from a Singaporean nerfer, blah blah blah. Um, no, that's crap. <laughs> Singapore would never have the 15 uh, meters version of the stockade, so um, probably whoever it was probably have got it from UK. So um, yeah, the UK was the first to actually have the stockade, and that was a 15 meter version. And then if I'm not wrong, the Australian version is also the 15 meters one. Um, I might be wrong, so correct me on that. But we have the 75 feet one, and um, I mean the truth be told, I'm actually a sucker for the barricade or the barricade style blasters, but. Uh, come on guys, the only reason why I bought the stockade was for the stock, you see? So, I'm just going to give you guys a quick unboxing of this blaster first. Alright, so here we go. Um, do I have to do the whole uh, customary, oh this is the front of the box with some uh, angry dude and um, and then on the other, on the back of the box, blah blah blah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, here we go. Instruction manual, okay. Throw the box aside, instruction manual, uh, ready indicator, jam clearing door, rotating barrel oil, switch stock. Uh, that's not what I'm going to care about. So, uh, for this particular unboxing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, it's going to be the opposite way of how I usually unbox stuff. I'm going to show you guys the stockade main blaster first. And it feels exactly like a, uh, what do you call it? A barricade. Trigger pull even feels the same. I can hear, hear it. Hear the rattling sound. Oh, that's bad. Man, that sound sucks. That rattling sound sucks. But uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so this is what I'm, what I'm here for. I've got like a uh, ten, ten uh, elite darts. This is what I want. The stock from the stockade. So, uh, just gonna rip it out like that. Sweet! Stop from the stockade. Actually, it feels pretty damn sturdy. Wow, it's. Oh, it's very, very sturdy. And, um, dart holders. They look like uh, <laughs> a pair of firefly dart holders uh, glued together. But, of course, the, f the ones on the firefly are 4x4. Four Got some elite darts over here. Let's see how I'm gonna put this in. I think it's loading up from the bottom up. Oh, it's actually pretty snug, so that's pretty cool. So I guess you're supposed to do that. Right, so you can do so on both sides, so it holds a total of 10 darts. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys what the stocky stock looks like on a, on an elite blaster. Now, I uh, apologize, my retaliators somewhere. So I have a rampage. It's just a shell, though. And uh, you see, I've modded it a little bit what it is for. I will not be telling you guys yet. You'll find out in some upcoming episode. But anyway, uh, this is what the Rampage looks like with the Retaliator stock, right? Which is pretty nice. And let me show you guys uh, how it fits on me. So, it fits like that. Uh, slightly uncomfortable. I have to actually pull it pretty close in order to, for me to rest it up. It's my own body, so yeah, like that. Right, so I'm gonna swap it out now. Honestly, though, the stockade stock feels a lot more sturdy than the Italian stock. So here goes stockade stock on a rampage. So then it looks like um, looks a little bit more beast now. I don't know why, but this part just reminds me of a shark or like a fish or some uh, I don't know carnivorous fish. I don't know. 
So anyway, uh, this is a lot more comfortable as you can see. I don't have to squeeze my elbow in so much. I don't have to tuck it in so deep or so much. And um, hey, it's like a cheek rest. This is pretty comfortable. I, I like this a lot. So uh, yeah, I'm very very happy with uh, the socket finally being released in Singapore. I don't have to specifically specifically go specifically go online just to go and uh, source for a socket just from stock. Um, in case you guys are wondering, the stockade costs thirty nine ninety at Toys R Us, so uh, I don't know if the other departmental stores are going to carry them, but uh, yeah, just so you guys know. Alright, so anyway, uh, on to the next part of the video, which is this. Okay, I only have a pair of hands. So, yeah, I managed to get these. You know what these guys are? It's the Clue Elimination jokes they are supposed to come in bundled uh, with the clue elimination game and I first spotted these uh, online um, via pictures that I believe that phone from above actually took from the uh, toy fair earlier on this year was it earlier on yeah the toy fair earlier this year when they were actually um, showing off some of the elite series no actually not really elite series they were showing off the snapfire and the speed swarm I believe so um yeah we actually saw a picture of these and I finally managed to get them okay so now just before you guys start asking questions I got it from Hong Kong via Taobao so uh, stop asking if you guys are gonna ask in the comments I'm going to delete your damn comment okay so don't leave stupid comments like that I'm going to delete your damn comment I got it off Taobao just go there type in Nerf 2012 and you'll find these run the first page these are actually pretty cheap uh, I do not know when the official release date is yet I've actually done some research before I actually ordered these and um, apparently it's listed on the Hasbro site uh, the Hasbro shop but if you click on buying it they don't tell you any links and any you, you know you can source for these so um, one thing I would like to point out is that um, different colors have di slightly different grips uh, as you can see and uh, the green to me is the most comfortable because you can you can see it's, it fits very nicely All right but uh, the air delivery system um, I, or I would say the uh, air restrictors um, are different in different colors I think it's just a manufacturing thing so um, anyway I have a close-up look for you guys so check out this next part of the video which is also an excerpt on the Nerf Mods and Review blog so here we go hello there now as you can see there is an array of different multicolored small sized pistol blasters known as variations of the Nerf Jolt. This is the original Jolt. And I think that this is a brilliant blaster, brilliant really. And we have over here two knockoff blasters of the Jolt known as the Spitfire which I have obtained from China via the Taobao website. Okay, I'm going to stop talking like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just that these four blasters, they have this like Victorian-ish design that makes me speak like that. I kind of think of like old English and things like that. But anyway, these four are the Clue Elimination uh, Jolt. I don't even know the official names, but yeah. So um, just a quick look on each of it. Each of these um, new jolts, they sport a different design, a different grip, a different feel. Oops, I'm sorry, I hit the camera. A different design, different feel, different grip, uh, all in all. But I believe that the internal systems are the same. So, um, if you guys want to see, I guess, better pictures or higher resolution pictures or close-up pictures of these four, uh, do click on the video description and follow the link on the Nerf Mods and Reviews blog where I'll be posting pictures of, um, or I, I would say, uh, better quality pictures of these four there in a the post. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys... Um, the air delivery system for all of these and uh, how the air restrictors kick in alright so um, first of all this is a stock jolt and uh, yeah so there you have it the air restrictors kick in pretty early and then we have the first uh, knockoff jolt the Spitfire oops I'm sorry I slipped that one so take a look so you can see um, well air delivery is pretty quick although it spots the air restrictor on the inside and this one is uh, the third one, as you can see. Oh, that's clear. See? Okay, so um, the one in green. It's uh, pretty good too. And now we move on to the four new jolts. Now, the thing is, I realized that the yellow one probably will have the best air delivery. And you'll see why. Okay, so uh, the red one first of all. It's in a heart shape. That's pretty cute. 
Yep, uh, the next one is the blue, and uh, this is in a key shape, in the shape of the key. Yeah, because uh, the whole thing is like all in the theme of a key. Alright, so. Alright, so comparing this blue one and the red one, it seems that the blue one has a better air delivery system. Alright, so uh, onto the green. The green is like, uh, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. It looks like coins. I think it's coins. Oh, yes, it's coins. Uh, oh, I think so. I think it should be coins. It looks like coins, but I might be wrong. I'm sorry. But anyway, here we go. Oh, that's pretty good. So it seems to be getting better. And uh, last but not least is the yellow one, where uh, the design is, um, it's like a lion with a star. Very much like a Singaporean thing, lion and star. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, this, this one is, this one has features a really, really comfortable grip. So anyway, here we go. So as you can see, it's pretty quick. Right. As compared to this. Right. So um, now I'm going to take you guys outside where I'll be firing uh, these blasters down the hallway. And then we'll see how they perform and whether they um, are comparable to the original Jolt. Right. Okay, hey guys. So now I'm going to give you the uh, firing demo of all four of these Jolts. And I'll be, of course, firing off with the original Jolt first. Uh, just to show you that it's not modified. Okay, the air shifters are still working, and um, just something to share with you guys. Um, I have with me a bunch of darts, and I will not be using the Elite Streamline darts. Instead, I will be using the FDL V2 darts, which are these, the black body. And uh, I will give you a closer look at these darts um, in the next part of the video. But uh, to be fair, I'll be firing off a pair of these darts each with uh, each blaster, each variation of the job, including first of all the original orange job. So uh, yeah, alright, so put this right here and I'm going to adjust the camera angle. Okay, now see this spot right here, this corner, I'll be standing at this corner, exactly this corner, I'll be firing down, straight down there towards the uh, microwave oven. The one on top is the main oven and the microwave oven. And as you can see, my phone is already there, rigged up and ready to go. So I'm going to put this down right here. And uh, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is the first first standard job. So load up with that FDL V2 dart. Okay, uh, should be able to see in the camera. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm going to be aiming it at my shoulder level, straight up, straight ahead. I'm pointing straight parallel to the ground so there's no angle shot whatsoever so uh here we go first shot so we're done with this next is the red one okay so okay with that. We have the blue one. That was a pretty nice shot. Done. This is the green one. Oh, that's pretty good. It kind of upped upwards anyway. Oh, straight on to the other. And finally, the yellow jolt. Right. Oh, straight on, dead on. So now I'm going to bring you guys over. And uh, yeah, here's a look at the jolts. I'm going to put all of them here, and these are some of my darts. So here we go. All scattered around. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, some underneath this thing over here. I do believe that there might be some. Okay, there's one right here. And uh. Right, so on to the next part of the video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Yeah, so I hope you like that. Now in that particular short segment of the firing demo, I was showing you guys the difference between two different type of darts. And um, 
well in one of my previous videos someone actually left a comment saying uh, why do I use FDL version 1 darts and not FDL V2s so um, it was because of that that I thought about it I said oh okay let's go get some FDL V2s um, so these are a pair of elite darts and a pair of FDL V2 darts and I'm just going to take one each okay so um, FDL V2 darts are slightly shorter by about one centimeter as you can tell uh, they feature black foam which is just about as dense as the Elite Foam uh, darts and they feature almost the same tip but uh, without the little uh, hole drilled into it so it feels a lot more solid actually as compared to an Elite dart now these FDL V2 darts are actually designed to perform like how the FDL darts were meant to be straight out of the box with better performance than the Elite darts and you can get it off the Black Tactical website now they got a pretty sweet deal uh, they actually sell these in packs of 10 and they also sell it in a pack of 300 and I thought that you know 300 was pretty sweet so um, just to go a little bit more in depth for you guys to take a look I have with me um, well this was a, a lemon I mean out of 300 you're bound to get some lemons some of them have like uh, super glue um, you know around it on the dart itself but anyway this lemon is like that it's made in this way so I thought you know I'm not gonna just rectify this I'm gonna tear this one up alongside a let me see if I can get elite dart alongside an elite dart now be uh, well showing you guys what the darts look like on the inside okay so um you know what? I'll just use my hands okay so um this is the elite dart I'm gonna just pry the entire tip off so that you guys can see what the whole stem and everything on the inside looks like so here we go so this is the okay it's completely clear I don't know if you can tell in the video but uh, yeah this is the foam body this side that's the blank now so this is the elite tip As you can see the bottom stem is actually white in color and it has a orange uh, hollow tip I'm gonna put this aside first before I actually cut into it now this is the FDL V2 dart and uh, I'm gonna pry off the inside doesn't seem to want to come out it seems pretty it seems glued on pretty well and that is actually a good thing okay so uh, here we go that's the foam blank Just throw the foam body aside and uh, wow okay I'm gonna try and show you guys a close-up it's like ribbed the whole stem is a lot longer compared to this the elite tip at least twice the length yeah it's twice the length as you can see twice and um, it's ribbed in a sense that I guess this is designed in such a way that it gives you it gives the tip actually or the stem more grip on the inside of the foam on the slot so I thought that was pretty cool so uh, it's actually two pieces of rubber made together let me see if I can pry it up I can't pry it out uh, it actually feels okay it's hollow but it feels a lot more um, sturdy I've got a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut these guys into half so I'm going to start off with the elite dart first okay so um, yeah be careful when you use a pair of scissors uh, please don't just randomly handle them like the way I am doing now okay uh, what I'm doing is not safe please do not follow my example or you end up doing this like snip ah my finger no I don't want you to I don't want you to get that so uh, it probably would hurt very bad as you can see I'm going very slowly because I do not know what in the world I'm doing right now okay so I, <laughs> I've cut it up and um, so here you go the orange part of the elite dart is just a tip and it is glued onto a I would say this is silicone stem okay as you can see on the inside and it is hollow and it is pretty soft and that is the construction of the tip of an elite dart now on to the construction of the tip of an FDL V2 dart so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna snip 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 oops damn it okay sorry about that so here we go snip the FDL V2 and uh, wow right from the get-go this um, tip feels a lot more sturdy and a lot more resistant to the scissors uh, slice and uh, wow it just came right out well it seems to be made of a different kind of a rubber 
or uh, a different kind of a material for the tip but uh, the construction is almost the same it is a tip glued on to a stem so uh, let me see if I can pry that off I can't it's glued shut wow it's glued really tight yeah it's glued on uh, very well so anyway it's just a stem and the tip so let me just uh, I mean the stem and the tip yeah let me just get this half of the elite duck yeah, so you guys can actually see in comparison so there you go and there you have it the uh, FDL V2 so if you guys are interested go ahead and get FDL V2s uh, now as you can tell um, they actually don't fish tail that much they fly in a pretty straight line and I'm actually quite happy with that uh, I will probably do a demonstration in another video because I don't want to take up too much time or real estate in this particular video alright so on to the last part of today's video ta-da this is the Vapor Atlas 250 and yes I have modded it check it out it's a PTG barrel now it's removable and yes uh, it looks warped over here because I've made tightening rings using a spring so um, it operates the same just that this part over here the old hopper is now uh, completely useless it's rendered useless now I actually just um, changed the spring I didn't even upgrade the seal on the plunger head or the o-ring I didn't do any like e-tape under the o-ring thing and um, I basically rebarreled it it was a very simple mod zero shell work all you had to do was just uh, find a, an appropriate spring I can't tell you what spring it is simply because um, I just randomly I just randomly took a spring from my um, my box of springs and uh, if you guys want to know my box of springs actually look like uh, they, look, they look like this it looks like this so. it looks like this so it's just a whole bunch of springs in a shoe box and uh, filled almost to the brim ah, I'm sorry and uh, yeah I don't even know the names of some of these springs and uh, some of them are stock springs some of them are not some of them are upgrade springs that I actually got like on eBay and stuff so anyway um, operates the same pull back push forward and then squeeze the trigger but you can also ease the spring this time around and I'll be giving you a quick firing demo I will fire off this blaster first with an elite streamline now let me show you uh, what the titanium ring does okay this is my PTG and the streamline just falls in if I did not perform the titanium ring see it can just fall out like that but now with the titanium rings at the back end it actually holds onto the dart pretty well so you see wouldn't drop so that's the nice thing about having tightening rings. So uh, here we go. Prime the blaster. Uh, put this in a barrel and firing off at the same spot, which is right there. Uh, performance is actually pretty good. I'm actually quite surprised. So now I'm going to show you guys the same thing now with an FDL V2. So here we go, FDL V2 into. That's not more snug, by the way. Prime the blaster. Load it up and fire let me just get another dot and uh, we will fire it off a couple more times for you guys just for fun of it okay so um, I should actually load it from the back I'm sorry it's my bad put it this way okay and uh, whoa oh damn I lost that dot fell into my parts bin and now it's at the bottom of the parts bin Never mind, one more time. One more FDL dart right at the back here. Right at the blaster. And, uh, let's go. Damn, I gotta stop doing that. Okay, I'm not gonna fire anymore. But anyway, uh, this is the modified Vapor Atlas 250. And uh, I'm actually pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I'm now considering modding the other one. Yeah. Might work on a Delta 500 mod in future, I don't know, in time to come. I probably would. But uh, yeah, here you go. Final look at it, where uh, there are absolutely no changes to the cosmetics whatsoever. Now before I end this episode of Pwned, I would like to say that I'm very proud and very happy and very honoured to be invited to be one of the contributors to uh, this blog, the Nerf Mods and Reviews blog. Um, to me, it's like uh, carrying on the legacy that Germ71 has left for all of us. Um, I have to say that uh, Germ's blog was like a, a really huge database of mods and resources that I will always look up to, I always refer to whenever I want to make mods and um, he inspired me quite a bit uh, in my nerfing endeavors and um, 
well, I guess it was it was kind of sad that uh, he had to you know stop nerfing. I know he hasn't sold all his blasters. I know he keeps um, some of them who are, that are dear to him, and I really hope that he's doing well. But uh, it was handed over, you know, to a few people and Bazooka Fight and now it's on to Darth Rambo and Darth Rambo is doing a pretty good job, kudos to him and um, people like Coop772 have also been roped in so I'm really really stoked, I'm really really excited about being uh, one of the contributors to this blog and um, I hope that I can actually contribute some good content onto that blog so all those of you who have uh, written all those nice comments saying that you know um, well, uh, it's good to have me on the blog well thank you very much, it means a lot to me, the encouragement is really really good um, it, it, it does a lot for for me because I'm such a shy person. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to end this episode now. Uh, stay tuned for episode 15. I promise you guys that I have a couple of mods. Okay, I wouldn't say a couple of mods. I have a couple of mods to show you in the future, but I have an interesting mod to share with you in episode 15. Now, I'm going to have to ration myself, you see. I can't just give you all the good stuff at one shot and then uh, and I'll leave you dry for a little while. So, I want to pace myself and pace you guys too so stay tuned and uh, wait for episode 15 thanks for watching guys once again um, check out the links in the video description to go to the blog um, yeah peace